folks, Ariel over here at Fine Earth, where today I want to do a quick video of using some of the produce from the garden. Now, uh, that's something that I find a lot of people, even if they do grow things, they tend to get them growing and then they say, oh, I don't know what to do all the, with all this stuff. Well, what you do with it is eat it. So, we already did a video on harvesting um, broccoli and talking a little bit about how that grows, so I'm not going to go over that here. I'll try to remember to link down below to that if you want to go check that out. I do have one example here of one that is a little bit of an example of one starting to flower. I don't know if you can see how it's starting to turn yellow. That would be preparing to actually open into a flower. So this one's probably a little tough and it's just going to compost back into more soil. But there's lots and lots of ways to eat broccoli. Uh, a lot of these pieces are bite-sized already, so they're perfect. A few, if they're a little bigger, I kind of just cut them in half. Uh, one little trip, uh, tip about if you are cutting broccoli or cauliflower, any of those flower type things, if you cut the stem there first and don't cut the rest away and then just pull it in half, all the little flower bits stay together versus if I, see I never even do it this way, if I chop into the, the flower pieces, see how I get all those little bits that came off? If you don't cut the whole way through them, it's just kind of a personal preference. If you just cut part way through the stem and then pull it, then you just have your two big chunks and you don't lose any of your little flower bits. But anyway, like I said, most of these are already bite-sized um, because these are my little extra side shoots after my first main garlic heads grew. So I'm just tossing them into my pan here. Now, there are lots and lots of things that one can do with this, and I also very much enjoy things like um, broccoli, uh, like cream broccoli soup. I like broccoli in various stir fries. I like it raw in some of my salads. Um, broccoli, like many veggies, has slightly different nutrients that you digest when it's raw versus when it's cooked, and so I like eating a little bit both ways. Um, but this is probably the most common way I actually prepare not just broccoli, but any veggies. So I've got my broccoli in my pot here, and look what we're going to do. This is so quick. So what I have in here is just my broccoli, and again, you can do this with cauliflower, you can do this with all kinds of things. I've got nothing else in here. This pot is completely dry right now, and I am going to add water. This is just a glass of water to pour with. Probably only like a tablespoon. Just like that. Almost none at all. Not putting a half a cup of water in here or anything. Now I'm going to flip my burner on. I can turn it up fairly high there. If I want, I can cover this. Now what we're doing basically is, I think what would be called water frying. I'm not really, uh, it, it's a little bit steaming it. Partly the steam that that water is going to make is what's going to cook the broccoli for sure. But when people talk about steaming, they're also often picturing putting, you know, this much water in the bottom of pan and having a steamer basket or a separate steaming pan on top. And you, you notice when you pour that water off how it's green or it's lost, it's absorbed a lot of the um, nutrients out of whatever you're doing and people are often throwing that water away. I don't want to do that. All I want to do is just cook this enough to break down some of those enzymes, make them more digestible. You'll see the color actually start to change as it cooks, as soon as that gets hot, we'll see it start to change, and when it's done, all that water will be evaporated. We're not going to pour anything off at all. I can already hear it sizzling. And you can already see, see how that one's turned bright green, where it was down on the bottom in contact with the water and the heat. The heat more than the water is what's um, you know, changing the color. But I'm just going to stir that around. We're going to keep the steam in there. So again, what we're doing is we're just very gently cooking that with the water and the steam. But when we're done, the water is going to all be gone. It's going to be dry. We're not going to pour anything off. We're not going to be losing anything that way. And we're not using any, um, you know, heated oil to fry it. And we're just using the water to fry it in, basically. So and this, you do have to keep an eye on it because it will burn things with that little water if you walk off and forget it because there's nothing to keep it moist. And a lot of veggies will, will have some water that starts to cook out of them as you do this. And if you don't have quite enough, like I can see it's almost dry there, my broccoli is not quite done. I'm just going to add yeah, maybe like a teaspoon more. Um, and now you also notice in a sec here when I open it again, the color on this broccoli is just 
phenomenal. The color is just so much um, brighter than what you normally find in any grocery store, at least any in the area where I live with having my own homegrown fresh broccoli. It's just, you can see that deep, rich green. Um, this is not, you know, messing with the saturation levels on a, the color editing of a video or anything. This is just the color of green that it is. And it's almost all turned bright green now instead of the a little bit paler green than it is when it's raw. And I don't really have any water left in the bottom of the pan. That's perfect. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Pink Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever. The salt kind of helps bring out the, and I'm going to turn the heat off here, bring out the, the flavor in the broccoli. And now, now that it's cooked, I actually like to add just a little bit of grass-fed butter here. Just a tiny little, oh, drop it in there too quick to see, tiny little sliver of butter there. And it's just going, you know, the heat's already off, but the broccoli's hot and the pot's hot, and that's going to be enough to melt that onto there. So that is going to be my delicious side for lunch here. I'm going to have that with a can of sardines and maybe a little bit of pasta. Um, but that's how easy it is. So that's everything I do. It took me like, I don't know, 90 seconds to cook the broccoli, probably faster than you could microwave something. This is going to taste awesome. And that is really how I cook a whole lot of different veggies. If something's a little thicker and denser, like a carrot, it's going to take a little longer. If it's even thinner than broccoli, like a cabbage leaf, it will take even less time. But that's probably my favorite way to cook veggies, though I enjoy them lots and lots of other ways. If I'm cooking them, a tiny, tiny bit of water, just enough to get them cooked so that when I'm done, the pot is completely dry on the bottom. There is no liquid in there. And they're just barely, it's almost like blanching them. It's often I've heard called water frying and then add just a little salt, maybe a little butter, and I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.